All right, so quick update. Um, I was able to get insurance and I was able to register the bus, um, both of which are registered and insured as a motorhome, so much cheaper. Um, I finally got a generator. I had to order it off of Amazon because of the hurricane that came through Florida. It just sold out everywhere, can't get one. Um, but now that I have a generator, I am going to start grinding off the side panels. It's got a little Harbor Freight grinder. And then start grinding these off and you know, we'll see how far it goes. I think these, I'll be able to grind through this pretty easily. Um, be able to I'll be able to grind through this wall paneling pretty easily. Um, the issues will come. Um, there are some screws that were stripped and I don't know how hard those heads will be to grind through, but we will see. I went and grabbed a long sleeve shirt and gloves just so I'll be a bit more protected from the uh, sparks and any shards that come flying off of the paneling. I got two off. I'm gonna stop um, with the panels because I forgot ear protection. My ears are ringing a bit, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna go anymore and damage my ears. So I'm, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna work on. All right, so I finished getting all the wall panels off. Um, I used the little angle grinder from uh, Harper Freight. Grind all the wall panels off. Got them off this side as well, and I already took the insulation out. Um, I did that yesterday. I'm gonna do the insulation on this side, um, end of today, just because it makes my arms really itchy, so I don't wanna be itchy the whole time I'm doing it. Um, what I'm doing now is, yeah, look all this, so much stuff to throw away. Um, what I'm doing now is, I'm trying to take the, um, the, the ceiling out here, and maybe the front cap, um, if I can get that done today, um, of the, of the, up by the driver. Um, I'm doing that now just because I want to be able to just throw as much stuff away at one time when I go to the dump. I don't want to be making like five different trips to the dump. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep working on the front front section and see how this goes.
That's heavier than I thought it would be. Well, I don't know why it stopped recording, but it did. It's also getting dark. I can't really see much. So. I'm probably going to clean up and get the insulation and whatnot out. Um, probably tomorrow or something like that. Again, I'm just kind of doing these videos to, um, for myself to look back on someday. Um, if I actually ever end up finishing this project, I think it'd be cool to kind of see the things I did and the challenges I came across. Um, the big challenge I'm facing right now is I have two error codes that popped up on the bus. One of them is something about the coolant um it's like coolant level low or there's like a short in the line or some high volt like um i checked the coolant and the coolant's fine the coolant's full so i hope it's like uh, it's probably just the sensor went bad i'm hoping the sensor went bad and not like there's a short in the wire somewhere because that's gonna be a lot harder to find um i also don't know where the sensor or any of that crap is um the other one is I can't remember what it was. It's, yeah. I mean, the code is 164-4. Um, but that one's a lot trickier. It can be like a bunch of different things. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to get someone to come look at it. My plan is to start doing like the oil changes and the coolant and all that um, myself down the line. Um, but the first one, I'm probably just gonna have someone who services school buses generally just come and do like a full service of it um it'll probably be it'll be a little pricey but kind of want just like a personal look over everything one time at least um before i you know head out on the road um so i was planning on doing that all later down the line but because of this error code i'm probably gonna have the person come do find someone i'm trying to find someone that's the issue i'm having a hard time finding someone to come do like all the fluids and then um try and solve that error both error codes um the one i'd probably just do myself but if he's already here then might as well have him just kind of do it um because i know i know the 164-4 i'm gonna have like a really hard time doing myself if i can um not that like any of the issues it can be are relatively simple to solve but the issue is, is it can be like 10 different things. Um, and it's hard to figure out which one it is. And so like most people I see doing it, they're just like start replacing one thing after the other until it finally solves it. Um, and I don't really want to do that, to be honest. I don't feel like spending $2,000 on parts that I don't need just to try and figure it out. Or I could get lucky and get it in the first try. But yeah, not my plan. Um, probably the next thing I'm going to be doing is, you know, I got those ceiling panels down. Um, I'm going to get the insulation out of the ceiling and then out of um, the side panels. Um, I was trying to do the side, going to do the side panels today. I just ran out of light. Um, and then, depending on how, what time, how much work I get done tomorrow, because I'm doing something later tonight with friends. Um, I'll, I'll maybe, if I have time, do the overhead unit as well. Um, try and get that metal out just because there's old insulation. I don't want any of that crap insulation in. Um, I was also planning on keeping like the dash how it is and not messing with it. Um, but I'll probably end up ripping the, I'll probably put the dash back, maybe look, make the plastic look nicer, but I'll probably end up ripping the dash out just because um, back behind it, there's a bunch of crap and I'll probably want to insulate back there as well because if I'm going to insulate the whole bus, then I don't want there to just be this one section of no insulation. That's kind of sucks. It doesn't defeat the whole purpose, but it should defeat some of it, some of the good. All right, well, I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to. Um, 
I got a good amount done though. It just kind of, that's kind of how it goes. I guess I've come to figure out real quick. Um, just gotta make sure I have everything before I leave. The main thing is I just wanna make sure I have both of the drills that I am borrowing. I do. But yeah, so everything takes longer than usually than expected. Like actually, when the I actually started um, grinding the wall panels out, I actually got those out quicker than expected. The screws took longer to take out, but the grinding part took longer. Even though I didn't even know I was gonna have to grind in the first place. But yeah, I got I got a lot to do. To um, my goal was to get this all done in six months, but. It's taking longer than expected, and with this error code, we'll see. I just shut the gate behind me. So the issue with the error code, um, you know, some people have the error code and they'll drive their bus for months and it doesn't really ever cause an issue. Other people will get the error code and the bus will go into limp mode, which is basically like they can't even drive it. Um, and my issue is I don't want to go, like, I need to go dump all that crap in the back of the, uh, um, the bus. And I also need to go drive, I'll have to go drive, um, get, like, the wall paneling, um, when I order it and whatnot. Um, and I don't want to go into limp mode, you know, in the middle of nowhere, halfway to my destination. Um, on, like, the middle of the highway, and then I'm screwed or then I have to call someone to tow me and a tow for a bus is not cheap at all so you want to avoid tows at all costs which is why on like vehicles like the buses preventative maintenance is way more important than like even on a car like a car you get towed okay man you might have to pay a hundred bucks or something like to get towed somewhere it's close because you can repair a car literally anywhere the buses there's only a select few places that you know you can go storm and get them repaired and they're such they're so much bigger it's like you're getting your bus towed as an instant thousand dollars or more um so i'd rather just have that if i'm gonna spend a thousand dollars get it towed i'd rather just spend a thousand dollars and put it towards getting it fixed and getting it towed than happening having to get it fixed um, but yeah, I mean, kind of, you know, discouraging at first, you know, when the air codes pop up, but at the same time, like I got a bus, this is to be expected. Um, and I also know nothing about engines. That's one of the things, um, but I'm a scholar at YouTube University, so um, I try and fix and figure out and learn as much as I can. <clears throat> the issue is, you know, YouTube University is great for normal cars because everyone has a normal car. Buses, um, not so much. But I spend, you know, just for this one issue that's I've this these codes have popped up for like a day or two. I've probably already done more than 10 hours of research on it. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out or I'll find someone to figure it out for me. Yeah. All right, well, good stuff.